Oh, Lord, it started by itself, y'all. I wasn't even ready. <laughs> but I'm just going to let it roll on. Yes, I am. Look here. Uh, I am coming on here. But, by the way, happy Sunday, y'all. Oh, we made it to another glorious first day of the week. Yes, and you might say Monday is the first day of the week, but if you do your research, you'll find out that Sunday is the first day of the week. Okay, but that ain't what I'm here for. <clears throat> Forgive me for sounding my voice a little raspy, sinus issues. I don't know why, but I don't know if it's the dryness or what. But Mama just got herself cleaned up. Yeah, um, I'm going to do a little eyebrows and see. Y'all, I found something in my stash. And I'm going to show that to you. And also, I want to talk to you about some items that I purchased off of Timu. Okay, so hold on. Let me go get them because I wasn't ready. This thing started by itself. Okay, I'm back. Hey, y'all, I thought I'd get myself cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, since uh, before, it's after, yeah. Um, I had to get myself, uh, what I said before, I just got out the shower and I, I just thought I'd come back on here with a little bit of makeup. Uh, am I going anywhere? Maybe, maybe. But y'all, I want to come on here and share with you. Let's just jump to the reason why I'm on here. Share with you uh, what I had purchased off the Timu site. I know I did a Timu haul and I showed you the items that I purchased. But y'all, now I got to come back on here and show you and tell you how some of the items wear and uh to let you know what my views is about them and i just want to give you a buyer's beware okay so i had showed you or shared with you that i had purchased some shoes now yet i had i took the plunge and i said i was gonna try the shoes now, um, the reason why I purchased the shoes was for work, okay? And I needed me some, I just wanted another pair of sneakers, tennis shoes, because I do have some tennis shoes. I have Skechers and I have uh, Pumas. I have Pumas. And I do have a no uh, a, a non name brand, but the Pumas they have like that little stitching on the side of the foot up towards the big toe, and uh, sometimes I have to drive a lot on my job, and my foot being a, you know, when you step on the brake, the feet be in a compromised position, where that stitching uh, it irritates the side of my foot. So uh, I said I wasn't going to wear those to work. And uh, my other tennis shoes, basically, the, I feel like the sole is not thick enough. Because here in Arizona, it get hot. And the ground be hot. And you can feel that heat coming up through, through your tennis shoes. So, y'all, let me show you. Um, I purchased... This here shoe from Timu, and to the eye, it looks like a perfectly good tennis shoe. Okay, they call these socks, sock tennis shoes, and I can fit it. Okay, and uh, it walks, it walks good, but it it, it makes you feel like that the shoe is not thick enough. Okay, because the impact, 
it don't have good shock absorbent, only good shock absorbent if it, it has right here where this bubble is. And that's, you know, for the heel of your feet. But up in here, it don't have no good shock absorbent. It just feel like nothing on, there's nothing on your feet. Now, the problem that I have with this shoe is that um, the inside of it, when you take it off, it, this is nothing but black styrofoam. And it, it's just a black, it comes out of a mold, I believe. It's just black styrofoam. And every time I take my foot out of the shoe, uh, it comes out. I don't know if this is supposed to be. Let me see. Yeah, it has to be in there. Because all you feel is like a ripple. I don't know if I'm explaining that good. You feel those ripples in there? Yeah. And it's not it's a lot of holes. I'll show you what I'm talking about in another shoe. So this is nothing but styrofoam. And uh yeah, I cannot I repeat, I cannot put a sock on in this shoe. I have ankle socks, I have footy socks, I cannot put no sock, no kind of sock in this shoe. I have a I have a shoehorn. Let me see. Is it up under here? Wait. I have a shoehorn that I use. Y'all, this shoehorn supposed to hold this back part up. And y'all, I cannot. I'm about to throw my back out <laughs> trying to put a sock on with this shoe. And I'm like, do my feet sweat? No. But I don't like wearing my tennis shoes with a bare feet, if you know what I mean. And these were, I believe these were $11, 10 to $11. And would I order them again? No. Because, like I said, there's no good shock absorber other than, now the heel part feel good, but up in here, it just feel like you're walking on ground. And let me show you this other shoe. Now, I ordered these shoes because I thought they were so cute and they would go perfect with some outfits, even though I think the outfit that I have on, casual. I ordered this shoe and I ordered the white ones. Now, years ago, my girlfriend, God rest her soul, she was doing some flip-flops, y'all. And she was putting bling bling on a flip-flop. And she purchased them flip-flops from the uh, dollar store. And she sent them to me. I didn't ask her to send them to me. She just told me she was going to send me a pair of shoes. And she asked me for what my address. She asked me for my address. So I gave her my address. And she sent me the shoes. And then she tell me, well, you got to pay me $20. And I was like, boo. I, me, my son, and my niece, we examined the shoes. And they was real quirky. And um, now if she would have just told me, uh, I know what you're trying to say. Where I'm going with this, I'm going to get to that point. If she would have told me that she was selling me some shoes, it wouldn't have been no problem. But the shoe was very quirky. And this is what these are. Now, the shoe look cute, don't it? Don't it? But it is very deceiving to the eye. When you see this on the website, you were like, wow, that, that, that looks like a nice out and about shoe, a nice vacation shoe. But y'all, this shoe is no different than the first one that I showed you. This one is worse. Okay. This is, I don't know if you guys know what felt is. That's a real thin, 
I don't know, I can't explain it. It's real thin material. And y'all, I this is this styrofoam. This is a uh, this is styrofoam mixed with some kind of plastic compound and is very, very light. And y'all look here. The insoles of the shoes, like the other one. I don't know if you can see that. That's styrofoam. It's like you get the little styrofoam cups that you buy for your parties. It's styrofoam. I'm like, and you're like, well, sparkling too sweet. You can't keep that in the shoe. You gotta take it out. No, you have to keep this in the shoe because if you don't, <laughs> you're walking on nothing. I mean, it's it's like a little thin material in there. And this here, I can't put no sock on in this one either. Y'all, this shoe, it make you think that, okay, by it being hot here in Arizona, or even if it get wet, this is coming off. This is coming off. This shoe, it was very poorly made, y'all. And this is not, it's, it, it looked like it swayed but it's not. It's a uh, I sew. Um, I make clothes. I can make clothes. I can redesign clothes. I do. A, I used to do it for a hobby when I was like in my early thirties. And honey, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even buy this. This material. I don't know. They made this in a chop shop or what. But look. Look at this here. And I know, I know you all said you get what you paid for, but y'all bought them for work. Okay? I want to be styling and profiling at work. And honey, let me tell you, this is so freaking slick. I cannot walk around my apartment with these shoes on. Baby, it's like walking on ice. You're going to slide. You're going to do the splits. You're going to fall and bust your butt if you walk around with these shoes on. I'm like, what is all this for? Now, it should have had... It should have had a sole like this. But this is not all that... Uh, it's better than this. You know? But you still have to be careful in these. This don't, it don't really have a grip. Okay, let me show you. These are worn, but these are my old Steve Maddens. And uh, I can walk around anywhere with these. Okay, I ain't worried about slipping and falling. They dirty, because it's dirty out here in Arizona. I'm in the process of putting those in the trash. But anyway, you would have to get you some of those uh, non-slip uh, Dr. Scholl's pads that go on the outside of this and hope that it work. But honey, you taking a chance. You taking a chance. And like I said, I purchased the white one. And honey, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of rubber. It's not leather, it's rubber. Same thing. Got a shoe. And y'all, I thought this was a cute shoe. They didn't have his stuff. It was all pressed down and balled up. This is how it came. Okay, now, same thing. Made in the chop shop. This and this this one ain't even styrofoam. This is cardboard. This is cardboard. And y'all check this out. I'm like, this is by far, this is ratchet. This is really ratchet. Now, it's okay to be cheap. But goddamn, this is look. Look at that. I can stick my fingers all the way in here. My whole tip of my fingernail go in there. Look, this feel like a damn bowling ball. 
And look, they tied it. Can you see that? And I'm like, Arizona Heat would eat this you up. And you know what? By far, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one that have purchased shoes and came back and did uh, a little buyer's beware uh, with their shoes because some girls, they order sandals and the sandals, the straps be broken or they're not secured properly. I can't even put this back in here. They're not secured. The straps are not secured properly. Yep, I can't put that back in there. And um, or they wear the shoe. Did that come out of there? Yeah. They wear the shoe. Um, go out wherever they going, and the straps break. So, and I'm putting my feet in the. I can't. I, I can't. This is the cheap of all cheapest. I'm sorry, y'all. I just took the plug and I said I was going to try it. And I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. Now, here's another thing. I know y'all like, girl. Put these back in the back. I, uh, I need to send these back. But the thing is, my printer to print the label... Um, I can't print a label. I don't know how I'm gonna print a label. And they tell me I need to send them pictures. I can't download no pictures. Not on that computer. Uh, and I can, I don't know, I could take a picture on my, I don't know how to do it. I just don't know how to do it. Okay. Now, I ordered this dress from Timu. And it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a three X. Y'all, this is by far like an extra large. Let me stand up and show you. Uh oh. It's supposed to be a three X. I know you see it. It looked like it, but it's not. Okay, and it is super, super long. It's a pretty dress. It's a pretty dress, but it's so long. I cut the, I cut the shoulders because I was going to do something with it. I was going to fix it up and give it to my sister. But she like, she don't want to look like no bag of Skittles. <laughs> yep, it's a pretty dress. I love the colors. It's just too small. <coughs> it's just too small. So, nightgown. And the jogging suit, I ordered a jogging suit because I'm like, I'm going to represent. My son have a clothing thing and um, it's called Kings. And I called myself ordering this, this uh, jogging suit. But I will say this is my fault because I didn't look at the picture correctly. I thought it was a velour. Uh, what I mean by that, I thought it was like a velvet uh, jogging suit, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. But it's this shiny material, just like the dresses come in. And uh, it's a nice, it's, well, I don't like, I don't like it. And they surprised me this time, y'all. Oh, this is a man's uh, job suit. And it, I got it in the 3X because I thought, like the dresses, it was going to come in too small. But now I got a job suit I can't wear. I saw I was going to wear this thing, y'all. Yeah, baby. I was going to represent, but it's too big. It's, it ain't big, big, but it's too big for me. And I'm like, 
<coughs> I don't know who I can give it to. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, I got a little snag. I pulled little nails just falling apart. They all brittle. Okay. But I don't know who I'm going to give it to. I want to send it to my son. But um, I'm going to have to ask him to watch the video. And then let me know if he want it. And I send it to him. And oh, on the legs. I mean, it's a nice fall jogging suit. On the legs. It got the lion. Okay. Let's see. Kenny. I think my son should like this, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, but I need to get rid of it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them shoes. I wouldn't even send them shoes to the Goopio, y'all. If I can't send them shoes back, I'm, well, I, if I can't send them back, I'm just going to have to uh, just bite the cost and know better next time. And, um... I mean, you know, you just have to be careful. Cheap is not always worth it. Yeah. They talking about shop like a millionaire, baby. <laughs> them shoes, millionaire would never buy them shoes, baby. So I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, be aware. Uh Look at and when I looked at the uh the reviews too, some people like them shoes, but you go out there and walk and you fall, they not liable for you. So um I think I got this dress from Timo. Yeah, I think I did. And it came in, let me show you. This dress is a 3X. I'll pay attention to my auntie arms. It's a three X, and it comes down right middle part of my knees. I am five six, so this was all right back. But y'all, I think that um, I think I'm done for now. I didn't get these from Timo. I got these from my uh, daughter in law. And I didn't get this from Timo. I got this from my girlfriend. I think I'm done for now. I'm going back to Shein. <laughs> yeah, because I did purchase some shoes from Shein. And uh, I was satisfied with them. And then I was also satisfied with the return process. And I don't have to wait so long for my products to be mailed to me. And um, <clears throat> I also seen a news report telling us to beware of Timu because they are connected with the black market where they are stealing people identity. And so um, you that have or using my uh, discount code, don't even worry about it because I, I noticed that... Um, even when I uh, downloaded the app, it always tell you you're going to get these coupons, you're going to get the coupons, but I never got no coupons. It's just that when you, when you go into your cart and you get ready to pay for your stuff, it just show you what you saved, you know, and um, to me, that ain't no big deal. Uh, but when I go with she in, I do get my coupons and I do get a significant amount of savings. So, and you can see it, okay? And then they um they give you points. She ain't ain't, ain't, ain't nobody telling me to do this, but they give you points and uh you can use those points towards your discount. So, um I think I'm done with Timu. If I get anything from them, it'd probably be like cups, the little bitty. I would like to have a little straw, little things, but I'm going to look for those on Shein. So, uh, and I know some people may be saying, well, Shein is the same, but 
I know for a fact that she has a store in California. And I want to say, where did I see that at? And I know it's somewhere down in Georgia. They has a store inside a mall. Okay, and Timu don't have that. So, y'all, I'm going to let you go. I got to go in here and fix me something to eat. I haven't had no breakfast. I didn't really eat too much yesterday. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I need to drink water. My sinuses is getting on my freaking... I wish it was a way where you could just, you know, like flip this up and just pull something out of there and everything be cleared up. You know, I'm like, it is what it is all in my ears and stuff. So y'all pray for me. Pray for my family. I did have a loved one uh, Wednesday. Unfortunately, got shot, I think, about two or three times. And uh, they're in the hospital. They was It was a rough situation, but the Lord blessed them to recover from that. So now they're in the hospital recovering. So just pray for my family. Um, pray that all work out well for the victim. So uh, I'm going to let y'all go, and I'm going to see y'all in another video. Okay? Happy Sunday!